course, the champ that always comes when an undefeated and number one ranked team is about to lose. This is Sports Center. More of the same in L.A. The Lakers just too much for the Magic. Dirk Nowitzki doing damage in Boston. But what's up with the Celtics? And are you witnessing what Kevin Durant is doing? MLK Day, no holiday for the top-ranked Longhorns. The nation's number five putting the squeeze on a Big East foe. I'm thinking, you know, I throw it 15 times, hand it off to Adrian. What was I mistaken? Uh, yes, you were. Not that anybody in Minnesota is complaining. But after Sunday's upset, the Jets ready for a rematch. It wasn't like we, we squeaked it out by one point. Plus, after adding even more talent, find out what the reigning world champs should do next. On Sports Center. How's it? Welcome to Sports Center from Los Angeles. Alongside Stan Verrett, I'm Neil Everett. We have number ones in college basketball, the NBA, and tennis. Back to back to back, to back, to back. You lost me with some of those backs. Let's start with the top team in college basketball. Texas had that spot because it hadn't lost all season, but we need the past tense now for the Horns after their trip to Kansas State. The Horns 17-0 and to start. Got pushed to overtime against Texas A&M, but they held on to their number one ranking by getting to 17-0, and 3-0 in the Big 12. Then they went to Manhattan, Kansas on Monday. Look at Jamar Samuel will stay with it. 20 points, 12 rebounds for him. K-State up three. Texas inbound and Jai Lucas brings it up court. Dish it to Justin Mason. Now take a look at Dominique Sutton on defense. Sutton and Irving both guard the same man, so Mason's wide open. Sutton gets there late. Mason with the bucket and the foul. Frank Martin wants a timeout. During the timeout, Martin, he's going after Sutton, throws the water bottle, yells at his assistants, rips into Sutton. Sutton, Sutton don't want to hear, doesn't want to hear any of it. But Martin making sure he hears it. Game tied it up at 18 after the free throws. Doge Balbe misses the layup. Jamar Samuels gets the rebound to Dennis Clemente. And then he feeds Curtis Kelly for the bucket. Look at the vision from Clemente. Kansas up nine at that point and feeling it. The crowd going off. Later, it's 31-22 again. Clemente to Samuels. Kansas State scored 30 of its first 33 points in the paint. Rick Barnes in Texas down 10 at the half, 10 for 33 with 11 turnovers. Any concerns? Oh, we're going to be fine. We'll come back out. We'll give him a game. It's not over. All right, let's see. Opening minutes of the second half, Damian James. He was just 3 for 12. He had nine points, but that one went. Texas within seven. They shot 36% for the game. Shot 35% against AM over the weekend. Clint Chapman with a high percentage shot. Texas pulls it within two with eight points in a hurry. Then a bad pass by Jordan Hamilton. Clemente comes up with a steal, gets it to Rodney Magruder. And they're digging that Manhattan. Magruder had 11. Kansas State up six after the free throw. Three minutes to play. James with a bad pass. Pullen comes up with it. Magruder there for the putback. And Kansas State knocks off number one Texas, 71-62. They're saying, we own Texas. In case you couldn't make it out, again, 71-62 the final. They won 14 straight at home, have the Wildcats. So Kansas State's win their first over an AP number one team in 16 years. They beat rival Kansas back in January of 1994. Wildcats, again, have won 14 straight at Bramlage Coliseum. That's the longest streak in the history of their arena. Kentucky, now the last remaining unbeaten team in college basketball.